Tony plays <laughs> with friends. I don't think I'm cut out for uh, driving in LA. It'll, uh, give, it'll give you heart palpitations. No, like, at, like honestly, like, uh, there's so much shit going on, like, on, like, a highway or whatever. I think I'd only be able to drive in, like, a fucking long-ass, dusty road. If That's you, the only place I'd feel good driving. LA's a bad place to learn how to drive, for sure. I would not want to learn how honestly, to drive. Honestly, it's probably the best place to learn, because if you can do LA, you could probably do anywhere else. I guess else. you're right. I just mean, I, I guess if you know how to operate a car, basically, you should be able to drive here. Do you remember when we, when we came here years ago, Chris? We had that Uber driver yeah. who was like, "Oh, it's my like my first time driving." Yeah. Like he was like he had just got his <laughs> license. He was like slamming the brakes and shit. Was it an Uber guy? No. Well, it was no, no, a taxi it was, guy. It wasn't Uber. No, it was a. It was like one of the assistants of the company we came oh. here for. Oh. Remember? Oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, I just started driving. Dude, oh, no. LA taxi drivers are fucking nuts because they they just have lost all the will to live. They're also scumbags. <laughs> Well, not all of them, obviously, but, uh... Well, that was that one time? Uh, yeah, one time, well, we were like, we need to get to the airport, and, uh, we, we ordered this taxi bus thing, because there was no Uber around back then, and, uh, he showed up, and then he, he literally, he literally took, uh, <laughs> I think, 20 rights in a row, and we were just like, wait, I don't know, I, I think me and Zach looked at each other at, at the exact same time, we are yeah. like, are you noticing this? It's like, <laughs> yeah, let, let's see if he does it again, and he took another right. And he took another right. We're like, um, could you drive us to where we want to go, please? And he's like, oh yeah, sorry. No, he's like, he's like, I, what, he said like this GPS or something or. Yeah, it's like no, he's no he, one's this stupid. Yeah, he went, he went. Oh, sorry, I had to, I had to, but. Uh, uh, That's okay. why I love Uber. Uber fucking destroys taxis in every I'm aspect. I'm so glad, dude. Uber, I'm glad taxis are going out of business. Yeah, no. I, 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 even though the okay, dude. The last time I took a taxi, I told the guy the address. He put it in, and he said, "Put it into my phone." Yeah. And then he asked me to put it into my phone. It's like, dude, you, you really need three GPSs? Are you that yeah. fucking brain dead? No, like, uh, he's trying to triangulate the best <laughs> route of all three. Uber no. destroys the convenience of taxis in like three different ways, and it's it's it should have completely completely blown it out of the water. I I I don't think I've ever had a bad Uber experience. I've Maybe, had a few. Maybe I've, one, but like it's. I've had way less than taxis, though. I I've never yeah. had a single good taxi experience, and I've had maybe like one or two bad. Well, Uber you don't like pay eighty dollars for a <laughs> fucking fifteen minute car ride. Yeah, where a guy like just tries to kill you. There's another. Th oh, one time I was in Philly and we were all getting an Uber and uh, the guy showed up and he's like, "Get in, get in, get in." We were like, "Okay," and we got in. <laughs> oh, that was and, the that was a bad one. And he yeah. was like, uh, "Man, there's a lot of police around here, man." We're just like, what? <laughs> and then uh, he dropped us off at Walmart, I think. And yeah, we went it was Walmart. In, yeah. And we went in, and then uh, I looked at my phone. I, he hasn't stopped the ride. <laughs> and I was like, I tried calling him something like four times. Like, can you stop the ride? And uh, he wouldn't pick up, and he like he wasn't responding to my messages. And so he was just letting this ride just like continue. So he was getting like $30. But the cool thing about Uber and Lyft is they actually listen to you, and they give you full refunds or whatever. Yeah, yeah. there's also a button on your phone that you can press it, and it blows up your driver's head. That would be fucking in the ride. That would be worth it. <laughs> it's a little, little microscopic dart into his brainstem. <laughs> you know what's great, too, about if you leave your phone in a taxi, you're fucked. You're never getting it back. Yeah. But uh, our friend Sandra, she left her uh, phone inside of an Uber one time. Yeah. And the, we, like, the guy gave us his house address. He was like, oh, yeah, come by any time. So this is a fucking rock madon. That's so the, the name of this contraption. You found a new island called yeah. Skele Skeletal Island. Lyle, right? if you if a scientist discovered a place called Lyle Topia, what would you hope is on this island? Me. Lyle Just you. Lyleopolis. A bunch of me's, and I would have sex of, with all of them. A bunch of little stone hedges of you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stone hedge. You mean uh, Easter Island? Yeah, yeah, Easter Island hedges. Easter That's Island hedges of me. I'm fucking. I, I have Down syndrome. Dude, I, mean, I, I mean, fucking. I, mean, I fucking love Easter Island, man. I don't know why. Uh, I don't Whoa. know why they made that guy's head so many times, but I like it. <laughs> Yo, Zach. Yeah? Who, who's a person you find to be un unredeemable? Uh... Like, that's, like, from recent times? Like, from any time. Like, someone that you really don't like. I'm not like. gonna say Adolf Hitler. He's too easy. I wanna he be creative. Too easy. Uh, someone that you can never, ever, ever actually like. Someone who you just fucking cannot stand. I don't wanna say Rob Schneider, but he's pretty fucking weird. <laughs> Okay, Zach. Let's just say Rob Schneider. That's let's perfect. Just, let's say um, Rob Schneider. So let's say uh, you're out on your sailboat, uh, <laughs> sailing the seven seas, and you yeah. crash into an island. Yeah. Your, your sailboat gets eaten by an octopus and is gone forever. Uh, you, you are completely cut off from the rest of the world forever. Um, you're surrounded in a mist that when people sail into it, they dissolve. Okay, so, let's say Harvey Weinstein, by the way, instead. He's, an, he's a recent one. Okay, okay, okay. He's, so you're, now you're trapped on this island. You know you're never going to get off and no one's ever going to find you. And you're all alone. But you find a pygmy tribe of mini Weinsteins. <laughs> 
Would you fucking Pigmy, Pigmy's fucking suck would I hate you, Pigmy it's If good. you found Pigmy versions Of Harvey Weinstein And Rob Schneider What would you do I'd fucking eat them all would, would you actually like, What would you do with them I'd kill them I can't c- talk to them <laughs> what, what would you do P- If you Pigmy's started the, Have sex with me <laughs> Just come back to my room No Pigmy's Please. can't even do, No they, Pigmy's can't even talk well, then why does it matter that they're Harvey Weinstein? Because they look and uh, they, they evolved from Harvey well, Chris, Weinstein. Chris, are you saying real pygmies or are you saying this version of Harvey Weinstein? This version. So, anyways. Oh, if I, I got the cat! If, Zach, so what I, would you do if you had uh, a bunch of little pygmy Harvey Weinsteins? And Rob Schneider's. And they couldn't the talk. The men are Weinsteins and the women are Schneiders. <laughs> oh, that's, that's just fucking, a, bunch of, a bunch of pygmy <laughs> Weinsteins trying to coerce the Rob Schneiders to go back to their thatch roof huts. Would you try to rule over them like a tyrant? I would, yeah, I would. I, I'd, I'd make them like build statues of me and stuff. Would you make the pygmies and the Schneiders start a war with one another? I, yeah, I would do like a false flag. I'd like burn down one of their little buildings and blame it on the other one. It's like a good war. Okay, Zach, here's, an, here's a new part to the story. Yeah. Your, uh, your hands have been... Uh, one day you're washing your hands in a pool of water, right? Yes. And you're like, oh, this is truly paradise. Plenty of water. It, the, the sun is great. But the water is uh, actually just uh, bee acid that bee all acid. collected it on the cliff so your hands fall off, right? It, it, one of these little creatures did this to me? They poisoned me? No, no, no. No, it's just uh, a bunch of wasps died on a hole and you washed your hands where they died so By all accident. of their acid is there. Okay. <laughs> right? So you got no hands no more. And then now you're starting to get really horny. You've not jerked off in uh, four months. Yeah. Would you fuck a, a Schneider pygmy? Uh, how, how small are they? Can I overpower them easily, or will they're, they like? They're two feet. Will they like fight back? Will they like tie me out with ropes and stuff if I if I hurt one of their people? They'll try to fight back, but they, they're mostly pacifists, and they okay, use. Okay, uh, let's let's make a compromise. Instead of having no hands, do I just have one little finger of three stub? No, you got no hands. I have nothing. You got nothing. Your hands are gone. Do I have little hooks that I made them build for me? Um, well, you gotta convince them first by fucking them. Okay, <laughs> I fuck, I fuck one of the, I fuck one of the Weinsteins because he loves it. No, no, they're, they're, they're men. <laughs> they're Snyder's Yeah, I know, women. I know, but I serve my dominance over the little <laughs> Weinstein men. Okay. So the women know who to respect. Okay. And then I have them build me little hook hands. Okay, that's fair. And then I, I massacre half of them to show them I can do it. Can... <laughs> <laughs> you like, fucking just I, slice their intestines I, out. I, I, I go around like, shh, I cut them. That's pretty cool. And that way I showed them that I could kill all of them if I wanted to, but I choose not to. Okay, and now it turns out there's a drone hovering over you, <laughs> looking down. Still <laughs> spinning around me. And the entirety of the human populace has seen Watch this it. video. <laughs> it was a test, sec. I was on TV. You were on TV. You were on uh, the reality show Weinstein Schneider Island. <laughs> Did I, it was season 12? Yeah, Pygmy Edition. And you were like, this show apparently has existed <laughs> in this universe for so long, how did I not... How did I not see? Chris, what would you do? It's because only the Illuminati get to watch it. What would you do if you walked outside and you saw like a dead possum and you're like, oh, that's weird. And you looked closer, you saw flies buzz here, you looked closer, and they were small microscopic witches, laughing, green witches, <laughs> la- laughing and pointing at the dead body. When you saw them, they started screaming and flew away. <laughs> that would, would, that you, would ruin my life. Would you tell that anybody? Would, no. No, why would what? you tell somebody that? Yeah, well, okay. Well, there are you, certain things you can't even tell okay, people. Okay, but, but like a week later, you're like, did that happen? You're sleeping, you wake up, and you hear, hey. <laughs> and you see, you see a little witch. One, one of them, like, fly, buzzing around your room laughing. And it flies, it flies out your window. You try to catch, catch it. Yeah. Um, and you find out there, it, there was a GoPro on it, and it had been recording, and if everyone... You, if, you, if you catch it, so it's... Please, please, let me go, please. If they find out, my, my people are gonna die. I would, uh, I would probably show my mom and dad it somehow. <laughs> I'd be like, Mom, Dad, is this... Uh, sh- tell me what you see. And they're like, it's a little witch in a shot glass. <laughs> I'd be like, okay, so I'm not crazy. What if, what if only your family could see them, and that's how you found out? Then I'd only share it with my family. I would, I would share the witch's power with them. You tell you tell your parents they break down, they, they start crying, and they say we're not supposed to talk about this. <laughs> this is ruined our, this has plagued our family for generations. If I could see the small micro witches <laughs> with fucking translucent subsurface skin, that would fuck me up. You can see their little brains sticking yeah. through the skin. <laughs> They're like little fetuses. <laughs> that's disgusting. What was I gonna say? Do you, want, do you want to hear a weird dream I had last night? Is it about green witches? No. It was kind of shocking though. I woke up in a cold sweat. What happened? I dreamed that I was in a fantasy video game, like, kind of like Elder Scrolls Oblivion, but I was in the game, and I was like, uh, I was just w- walking around the lush green hills and shit, and I came across an NPC, right? He's like, look what I found, and it was just a, a, a like a modern day car. He's like, with this car, we will be able to defeat anyone, right? And then we drove up to this bunch of dudes, 
and and these two guys walked towards us, and one was towering and retarded looking, and he came at me with a knife, and I looked behind him, and the guy who showed me the car, his arms and legs were being hacked off with machetes. <laughs> oh my god! And I got really, really scared, and I ran away, and I found this little town, and then there was a. Uh, there was this like house, and there was all these policemen aiming up at the house. They're like, "Come out!" And then this big old man head just came out of the house, like on like a brontosaurus neck, and looked around. It was like, Whoa. "That is fucking creepy." And he got, and he just went back into the house. And then, <laughs> then I woke up, and it was really scary. Wait, so the guy in the house was it? One of those dreams where it's yeah. like, by the by the point the old man brontosaurus head came in, were you just not in a video game anymore? Yeah, no, yeah, like, it had nothing to do with a video game anymore. Here's the final boss. <laughs> that old brontosaurus man. <laughs> He, he just looked around and went, oh, and he just he sucked his head back into the house. I, I don't know why the police were aiming at him. His neck, I mean, his neck it, was too long. It he's fucking a fucking broke anomaly. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> why would they want to hurt him? He lived in a nice little British house. He did oh, was he friendly? Yeah, he didn't do anything. <laughs> he was just a long neck man.